Hi, welcome back to Strength Cardio Core. Today's format is going to be the 30 second blast. Thank you, Michelle, for, for suggesting that again. Uh, so what that means is we're gonna be doing our drills for only 30 seconds, that's the good news. Um, I don't know if there is bad news. Um, the bad news is, there's no bad news. It's just, it's just challenging, so do what you can do. And just like all the workouts, you know, listen to your body. Uh, we're going to be doing each block of exercises has three exercises, 30 seconds a pop, and we'll do that four times through. So it is a lot of repetition uh, for every block. If you want to just ditch the last block and take that as a recovery, uh, you can. You can do that too. So remember, listen to your body. You just need a chair if you want to step up on something today, and one weight, only one weight, whatever that looks like for you. All right, guys. Let's do this. Thanks for showing up for yourself today. Toes, second toes directly underneath the hip points. Just get a nice neutral standing posture. Ears over your shoulders, over hips. As you inhale, try to hug the ground towards the midline of your body with your feet and grow a little taller. And just see the, how much length you can create in your body just by um, thinking about it, <laughs> right? All right, I want you to take your left hand to the sky like you're literally reaching for something up there, whatever's up there and then your right hand to the sky. So I'm gonna be alternating this. As you do that, notice my bottom hand. I'm rotating my thumb backwards on the bottom hand. Just to get a little bit more movement in the shoulders, the top hand, if you can even see my hand, I'm trying to turn my pinky finger back also. Now, just to do something different. Yep, good job. If you're just jumping on, we literally just started. You just need a chair or a weight. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right, let's shake things out. Feet are still hip width. Drop into a nice squat with a neutral spine and swing those arms. Inhale, exhale. I notice a lot of people in my live classes and um, definitely my personal training clients that I've had over the years, a lot of people like to lift their toe, like one toe or two toes. So just notice if that's you, <laughs> especially I'll mention that later in the class. <laughs> Keep your toes down. You don't want a death grip, but you want to have even pressure on the feet. A couple more, just literally shaking things out. Alrighty, we will be side shuffling today. So let's just make sure our outer hips and glutes are all heated up. You're gonna just take a step to that right, right foot goes right. You're gonna reach your arms out to the right. You're gonna step on up, you're going back to the right, only one side at a time today. You don't have to look that direction. So sometimes we swing the arms like that. If you wanna swing, you can. Today I'm reaching, reaching across. Toes are pointing forward, so just make sure all 10 toes point directly in front of you, you're bending your right knee, you're maintaining that neutral spine, so natural curve of the low back, mid back, and also in the neck. Two more to the right. Alrighty, take a step to the right. Now you're going to step to the left with your left foot, all ten toes pointing, reach for it, and then reach for the sky. If you can step in and have your foot underneath, um, land underneath your hip, that's bonus. If you can get used to that. Coming back to that standing neutral. Nice, you guys. You can go faster than I'm going. If you're playing music, you can go to your own little beat. Two more on to this left side. Alrighty, you're gonna see this one a little bit later um, as part of the workout. So micro bend the knees. You're gonna hinge, so remember you're keeping that neutral spine. Your thumbs are gonna point up, and you're gonna make a V with your arms. Take them down, and then right now for warm-up, we're gonna do a chest opener too. So it's gonna be one V and one open. So later, during the workout blocks, the working blocks, I'll ask you to grab a towel if you want, it's totally optional, to add a little bit more resistance of the upper body for just the V. And remember, if you're just coming on late, every exercise today is 30 seconds. Do two more. So this is that sweaty mess workout we did last week. Okay, shake everything out. 
So let's do some drop squats, feet hip width apart. Come up onto your tippy toes. Before we squat, just um, drop the heels and lift. So warming up the feet. This is a great way to get some mobility in the ankles, especially if you're holding weight. It's nice to do some calf raises, get some extension in the toes. That means you're stretching out the, the toes when you lift your heels. Nice, if this is too much having your arms over your head, you can take your hands down, you don't have to do that. Abs nice and tight, two more. All right, you're gonna hold it at the top. So later on, if I say jump squat and you don't wanna do that, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do drop squats. You're gonna go up your toes, you're gonna go to the soles of your feet, you're gonna bring the hands down. Inhale up, exhale down. So you're landing in your perfect squat. Your knees are staying right over the center of the feet. So this is minimal impact, should actually be no impact. But later on, if you don't wanna jump, this is you, and you can really get after it, you can go pretty fast. Not right now, just do two more for me. One more. Alrighty, you're just gonna stay standing, upper body moving only. You can either make fists or have your fingers flat, I'm gonna make fists, and just gonna reach and pull, reach and pull, reach and pull. Exhale, so notice, my hips are still underneath my ribs. I'm not shifting forward. And see how fast you can go. That's you breathing. This is just to get a little bit more movement in the shoulders before we go down for a quick set of planks. We planked a lot in the last couple days for our workout, so we're not gonna plank right now too much. One more. Nice, all right, inhale it up, woo! Exhale all the way down, soften the knees. If you need to, walk your hands out. You're starting in a high plank, but it's gonna be a quickie, don't worry. If you need to put your knees down, put them down right now. Point your finger thumbs into the mat. Inhale, crown of the head forward, front ribs in, belly button in. Go ahead and lift your thigh bones, squeeze your quadriceps. And then from here, you're gonna micro bend one knee at a time. Right and left, and right and left. That's it. Melt your chest a little bit soften the chest down between the biceps so we're not rounding our upper body if that's your default position like me 10 9 good job 8 7 this is it 6 5 we're gonna get to this workout 4 3 2 and 1 bend the knees walk your hands back keep your knees bent hands finger pads are on the ground and do some deep knee bends bend and straighten as you straighten your legs, see if you can soften your shoulders. <laughs> Look through your calves. Do a couple more for me. Last one, keep the knees bent, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, so we're going to our first block of exercises. It's three exercises, 30 seconds a pop. We do that four times. The first exercise is actually kind of a standing mobility drill. It'll be 30 seconds long, you'll get it. So you're gonna start, let's see, what's the best way to start here? Put your right foot forward. We're just learning it on this one. It's a deep curtsy lunge. I'm gonna come over here because we're gonna be spinning backwards. So right foot forward, left foot behind. I'm getting as deep as I can. So you get as deep as you can. You're gonna spin around, drop into a wide squat. Now you're stepping your right foot behind and then you're spinning around to face forward all right so we're gonna be spinning 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 you're gonna get it because we're gonna do this a lot ready set so you can start in a wide squat or a curtsy lunge wherever you want to go you step a foot behind slide into a squat you step the other foot behind pivot into a squat and then you go the other direction so just do maybe two curtsies two squats or or two curtsies, one squat. But I want you to get that pivot. I want you to get that spin at least one time. Keep going, you only have 10 more seconds. One foot steps and then the other foot will step behind. Five, you're doing it. Four, nice you guys, just try it, just try it. Three, two, and one. All right, it's a runner's lunge to a push-up. So again, you don't need weight on this one. You don't even need to go on this one. So you're gonna climb on down onto your hands. Notice we're easing out of warm-up right now. You're gonna place one foot forward, 
step it back, and then you can do a push up on your knees or toes. That's up to you. Then we do the other foot. Ready? 30 seconds. Set and go for it. One foot forward, one foot back, one push up. If you don't feel warmed up enough to do push ups, absolutely do them on your knees and then maybe make it a smaller range of motion for this first couple sets. Nice and tight. Core strong as you step the foot forward and back and as you do the push up. You got it, you got it, you got it. Three, two, and one. Climb on up. Here's your little cardio portion of this block. It's gonna be tire runs. So you're going knee up, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, that's it, ready? Set, here we go. We're just learning the exercises right now on this first round. And then we get to destroy it for the next three. Yes, can you keep all knees up, not just that inside knee on the last one, but knee, 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 maybe? Maybe not. Use those arms, you guys, no bicep curls. No bicep curls, I want you looking like you're running. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, head above the heart. Now we're going into that crazy curtsy mobility deal. Ready for five, four, three, two. I'm gonna step across with my right foot. I drop to a squat, then I step across with my left foot, and then I spin, and then I go back with my left foot just so I don't go all the way out of frame. But you can do this all over your area. I'm just trying to stay in the frame so you guys can see me. Get those spins. Try to get low in that curtsy lunge. Even lower, you can get really low. Some of you that have that mobility. And you're up, that goes by fast. Climb on down to the ground. It's the runner's lunge to a push up in five, four, three, Two, here you go. You step one foot forward, step it back. Straight legs or bent knee push up. Other, other foot goes forward. Keep breathing, you guys. Nice job. Remember, your head stays in line with the rest of your body on those push ups. It's just a plank. Nice work. Three, two, and one. You're climbing on up. We got the tire runs. Second round, here we go. Ready, set, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going. <laughs> yes, keep your chest up, chest up. Remember, modification. You just walk, you keep things low step. You can even just march in place with high knees, that's great. You got it, you got it, you got it. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, two down, two to go. Mobility, ready, set. Start with your feet wide, chest up, Take a crazy big curtsy, spin, other foot, spin, and then I'm, I'm going the other way. Low, if you can get low, I know some of you can, with your knees still over the center of your feet. It doesn't count if your knees fall in to get low, that doesn't count. You wanna keep your knees tracking over the second toe. All right, you guys are up. Come on down, it's the runner's lunge to a push-up. Ready, set, no hesitation on this. One foot forward, that same foot back, one push-up. I'm gonna do this one on my toes now. Feel a little bit warmer. Pushing with the pointer finger and thumb. I say it a lot, but I say it a lot because I usually see a lot of pinky, pinkies being smashed and cupping hands in my live classes. Unshrug the shoulders, use your breath, and you're up. That goes by fast. All right, we got our tire runs ready. Come on up. 
Set. I want to see some heads in screen. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> yes. Remember, if you need to go low, you just can go moderate. We're really, really big. I know we're just getting cruising out of the warm up here. Nice work. Woo. Good job, you guys. Crushing it. Yes. Time check. Four. Three, two, and one. Woo, we only have one more, and then that one's done. Alrighty, ready. Wide squat, curtsy lunges, set, and go for it. Get low, reach, spin low. My surfers, this is a great, drill for hip mobility that translates a little bit to being on the board, compressing, getting deep into our knees. You're up, down, last set of our runner's lunge push-ups, going in three, two, let's go, pick a foot, take it back, one big push-up. Foot, back, push, yes. Foot, back. The leg that is left behind, can you contract that glute on that step? That's how straight your leg is today. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we sag, and not today. So nothing fancy on the cardio. You need your weight for the first two exercises. We're starting with a squat chest press. And then we'll go down to the ground. Second exercise is Russian twist with a little, little bonus. Okay, right, ready? Set, you'll see, you'll get it. So feet hip width. Squat, you press out to diagonal, and then you squat, other side. That's it, that's it. Keep your chest up as you squat. On this one, gang, if you can, I'd like for your toes to be pointing forward. Toes pointing forward, which means your knees are pointing forward. They're not squeezing together or bowing out. When you stand up, your ears over shoulders, over hips, over ankles. So there's nothing breaking that chain, right? That nice long line. All right, that's it, 30 seconds, boom. We're just learning the exercises. Come on down. It's gonna be a Russian twist, which is just weighted rotations on your butt. Roll down, watch this. I'm gonna go right, left, hold. And then left, right, hold. One, two, hold. Keep going. Good. Now, if you're unable to lift your foot, don't lift the foot, just go right, left, right, hold. Left, right, left, hold without the feet. It's all good. Pop, pop, pop. Five seconds. Keep breathing. And last one. Alrighty. Your cardio on this is stepping up and down on your object. If you don't have an object, you're running kind of forward and back, okay? Right foot up, go. Left foot up, that's it. Take this one kind of easy first, where you're not jogging, some of you. Just kind of step. I want you to stand all the way up on these, all the way up. So I'm not leaning forward doing this. 
Nope. <laughs> All the way up. At the top of that move for that split second, when you step up, you're feeling your glute. Feeling that glute. Contract. Five, four, three, two, boom, done. First round is to learn it. Now we work. Squat diagonal chest press. Ready. You guys are ready. Sit. Love it. Let's go. Drop. Keep going. So I'm really contracting my thighs, my glutes, so that when I wrote, when I push to a diagonal side, my hips don't go that direction. I'm keeping my hips square to the front. If you're pushing a pretty heavy weight and it's a lot of strain on the neck, you can just not press out as much, of course, or just go faster, more like a punch. It's out in. So there's less time out there. Three, two, all right, drop back down. Here we go. Ready? Russian twist, one, two, three, hold if you want. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three, hold. One, two, belly button pulling the lower back. Pop, pop, pop. So you can play with the tempo on that. Speedy, speedy, stop. Speed, speed, pause. Or you can just go smooth. Whatever works for you. Remember, heels can remain down. Next couple rounds, I'll ask some of you to go straight legs, if you haven't already. And you're up. You're up. Here come those step ups. If you want a little bit more oomph on this round, go for it. Ready, set, you're alternating your foot. Alternating your foot. So notice I'm gonna add a little bit more oomph on my step up. It's almost like I'm jumping up a little bit. I'm, I'm exploding up and switching out my feet at the top. You do you. Make sure you are getting your heel on your chair or your box. Yep. And you're up. Okay. Round number two. Done. Reach for your weight. Third round, this is where you really get into it. You don't really have to think too much. You're just in a feeling. Ready, set, here we go. Maybe you go a little quicker. Now that you're getting accustomed to this move, you're probably feeling a little bit more warm. Maintaining that essence of a neutral spine as you drop. Contracting your butt and your thighs when you stand up for that millisecond. I'm, everything's contracted. I'm not just locking my knees back. All right, you're up. Come on down. All right, if you would like to straighten your legs, go for it. Three Russian twists. So it can be straight, straight, straight hold. Straight, straight, straight hold, or not, <laughs> totally not. You can just do the bent knee, or you have your heels down. Holding that one count, one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold, or straight legs. Yes, hello quadriceps, if you're straightening your legs. Woo. And it gets deep in the obliques when you straighten your legs. All right, you're up. Stepping up, if you're stepping, if you're not stepping, you can high knee, or you can go forward and back and alternate those feet. Ready, set, let's do this, guys. Come on, up, up, down, down. Your tempo. But think of your head shooting through your ceiling. Your face is not going forward over your chair, your step, nope. Yeah, you can go pretty fast on this. Make sure your knee stays over the center of your foot. No collapsing knees. Nope, nope, nope. All right, you're up. That was block number three, done. Let's just attack this last one. Make it the best one yet. Ready, grab your weight, sit. Woo, let's go. 
Squat to chest press. Open up the chest as you drop into your squat. Are your big toes up off the ground or is one up off the ground? I want them both down. Yes. You got it. Maybe a little faster. So if you're holding a light weight like I am today. Three, two, okay, last set of Russian twists. On the floor. All righty, you pick your poison. Ready, set, go for it. Your heels are down. One, two, three, hold. Bent knees, one, two, three, hold. Straight legs. Uh, if you're straightening those legs, I want your quadriceps to be fully contracted. Try it. Just depends on the flexibility of your hamstrings too, I know. You're up. All right, last set of step ups, at least like this. Ready for cardio, set, here we go. Pick a foot. Yes, up, up, down, down. How fast can you get to the next foot? Let me see this. How fast can you transition? Nice, you guys, stepping way up. Beautiful, Anna, good job. Eight, seven, head up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo, block number two, done. Quick sip of water if you need it. I'm wiping some sweat, I, don't, I can't even see. Next block, we're actually stepping up for the strength exercises. Weight is optional. So I'll show you, well, I'll show you from the side and the front. All right, you guys, we're just gonna do it with me this first round. So we're gonna focus on this right leg first, second 30 seconds, left leg, and then cardio is gonna not be with the chair. All right, so check this out. You're gonna go up, up, down, down, like we just did, right foot leads. Up, up, down, down, but here, my right foot's on the ground, I'm gonna rotate over, step my feet together, up, up, down, down, I step back with my left foot, so that it's always the right foot lunging. You're already on the clock. Remember, it's one leg at a time, one leg at a time. If you want to do that rotation as you step up, it's over, over, down, down. That gets a little tricky on the brain, but you can do it. Just go over the right leg. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. So that was one leg. Now we're doing the second leg, same thing, okay? Ready, set. I'm personally stepping up with my left foot, up, up, down, down. I step the right foot back, so my left foot's still forward. Up, up, down, step the right foot back, if you're with me. Up, up, down, learning it on this first round. Is your front knee, your left knee directly over the foot when you step and when you lunge? The answer is yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes and you are up. So those are the strengths, one on each side, kind of boring. Now, it's side shuffle with that optional block, drop squat, or jump, your choice. Ready, set, going to your left, shuffle, 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 toes, soles of the feet, or jumping. <sighs> yep, I'm throwing sweat at you guys. Oh my gosh, all over the place. Low, 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 high. Imagine you're jumping in front of a volleyball net, trying to block this ball coming across the top. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. All right, that was it. We do that three more times. So grab your chair, weight is optional. I would use it. 
You can even put the weight on your shoulder if you don't want to deal with the twisting. Okay, I'm going right foot. Ready, set, it's up, up, down. My left foot goes back to my right foot still forward. Up, up, down. Some of you that are jonesing for more shoulder work, if you want to push the weight over your head when you step up, awesome. Go for it. My right booty is already getting hot. <laughs> yes. All right. Shake it out for a hot second. Go into your second foot, whatever that is. Ready, set. Here we go. Up, up down you step back you lunge over for me it's my left thigh if you want to do the shoulder press you can rotate over that front thigh please you can always do this without weight it's all good so whatever foot is stepping up like i said for me it's my left i'm really concentrating on my left glute Alrighty, weight goes down. We got that shuffle block. Here we go, ready, set, let's hit it. Volleyball, whoop. So if you're not jumping, it's toes to soles of the feet. So you're already loaded, right? I'm already low, and then I just go up, down. I'm already loaded, low, up, down. Minimal impact, or none, right? So listen to your body, but also listen if it wants more, right? It's not just only to modify. If you can handle more, do it. All right, breathe. That's how our bodies adapt to stress, is adding a little bit of stress and persevering. Okay, here we go. Grab your weight. Stepping up, first foot. Ready, set. I'm going right foot, right foot for me. Up, up, down, down. I step back, I lunge over that right thigh. Or I rotate over the front thigh. Let's see this. Yes, that looks great. Nice, Jen. Yeah, oh my God, I love it. Remember, as you rotate over that lunge thigh, first thigh, your knee does not move, right? Right. <laughs> okay, that was your first leg. Set up for your second leg. Ready? You know what's happening. Set. Here we go. I'm going left foot. And then I rotate over that front thigh. Yes. I'd rather your form look very good than you try to add speed. You add speed after, form is great. You never want to layer volume or weight or anything on top of dysfunction, right? All right, set that to the side. Side shuffle block. Three, two, let's go. You don't have to jump, but if you can, do. <laughs> yes. Maybe your hands are down and then but right before you jump up, you throw your hands up, right? So we're using our entire body for this jump. Yep. I like it. Feet are hip width apart right when you're about to jump because that's your strongest position. You're up. All right. That was three. This is the big set. This is the one you attack. Attack. Okay, grab your weight. Ready. I'm going right foot. Set. Step up, lunge. Up, up. Down, down, lunge at the bottom on the floor. Nice. Every once in a while, peek over your front knee, your right knee when you're rotating. Make sure it's staying over the knee. It's not following you. 
Yeah, on that rotation. Can you get a little lower on your lunge? Whoa! Bet you can. Okay, shake it out. Second leg, this is the last time you're doing this. Ready, come on guys, set, go. So even though this technically isn't the cardio part of the workout, your heart rate is elevated, of course. You're managing your breath. If you can, some of you that in my breathing classes try to do that inhale to the nose, power your exhale out to blow out that CO2, which is building. Okay. Last round of shuttle blocks. Ready? Yes. Yeah, set. Come on, guys. Up. That's me nose mouth breathing. You do what you can do. Yes. Come on, get up off the ground. Look where a ball would be coming from. Nice. You're up. Wow, that was block number three done. I need to get some water. Please get some too. Into the nose, out through the mouth. You can also do this kind of recovery. Hands on the thighs, letting your belly expand and your inhales through the nose, blow out through the mouth. All right, I want your heart rate down a little bit. Option, totally, is to do some decline push-ups. That means your feet are elevated. You don't have to do that. But we're warmed up, our heart rate's a little high, so I want your heart rate down for this first set if you're gonna try it. Hands are on the ground, feet are up on an elevated surface. You don't have to do that. You could do incline push-ups, right? Make them pretty easy. Or on your knees or your toes, okay? All right, it's gonna be decline push-ups and then squat to a tricep extension and then more cardio. Okay, here we go. Heart rate's down. I wanna make sure no one has a heart attack. All right, you got 30 seconds. Whatever kind of push-up you're doing, here we go. If you're going decline, your hands are underneath your shoulders, not on the sides of your ears. Not on the sides of your ears. That's a pretty common uh, setup mistake on decline. Inhale, exhale. You squeeze your butt as you bend your elbows, abs on the way up. You got it, you got it. Hang tough, you're almost there. All right, carefully climb on down. Whoa, that's a lot of sweat in my sunglasses. All right, you're gonna stand up. You can also do this kneeling if you don't wanna squat, but stand up with your weight, please. So, it's a squat. Weight goes over the head, wrap your elbows in. Tricep extension, I'll step back so you can actually see what I'm doing. Squat, lift, elbows in. You are on the clock. Doesn't have to be fast, but it can be, especially if you're holding a little weight. So really important to isolate more of the triceps and to sort of disengage, that's not the right word, but not use <laughs> your shoulders. You wanna wrap your elbows in. All right, the cardio portion of this series is chair taps or box taps or tap anything you want. 30 seconds, one toe at a time. This can be pretty darn intense. Ready, five, four, three, two, here we go. Keeping your chest up. Now remember, you can absolutely keep your bottom foot on the floor if you want less impact. You got it, guys. Thank God these are only 30 second blocks. 
<laughs> Three, two, one. Breathe. Nose, mouth. I need you to get your heart rate down a little bit, especially if you're going into decline push-ups. If you're in incline push-ups, it's not as big of a deal because your head will be above your heart a little bit. So quicker recoveries. Nose, block twice to the mouth. Nose, mouth, mouth. All right, whatever push-up you're doing, 30 seconds, ready, set, charge. Come on, if you're already doing push-up on your toes, try a decline set. It's a short set, right? 30 seconds. Everybody, even if you're on your knees, you're squeezing your butt on the way down, abdominals on the way up. Inhale, blow yourself away from the floor. You got it. All right, climb on down. Woo! Need to wipe a ton of sweat. Grab your weight. If you don't want to squat, you can absolutely stay on your knees and do this. Ready, set, here we go. If you're on your knees, you just do um, the racking of the weight under your chin and then right into that overhead extension. So I'm getting close. So you're pushing the weight over your head, elbows are by your ears, both directions. Elbows are by your ears, both directions. Just fight for it. Oh, I know, it's not easy, right? Shouldn't be, <laughs> shouldn't be easy. Alrighty, that was it. Back to chair taps or box taps or weight taps, whatever you wanna tap. Doesn't matter to me. Five, four, this is a doozy. Three, two, let's go. the mouth. Maybe. Try it. Yep. Nice and smooth and controlled. You got this, guys. Three, two, one. Head above the heart. Maybe you're recovering. Hands on the thighs with a nice neutral spine. going down for decline push-ups, take a moment. If you're going into regular push-ups or incline, especially on the chair or elevated surface, you're going to start. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Set. Let's go. Glutes on the way down, abs on the way up. If, you're, if you forget, it doesn't matter. Just keep something tight. <laughs> Going one direction and then the other direction. Maybe you try one decline push up. You're like, F that. Just come on down and continue your set. Don't stop, don't stop. You're still pushing with the thumbs and the pointer finger. All right, you're up. Goes by fast, you guys. Okay, five seconds, chair taps. Ready, set. And let's go. Woo. You can also count your feet, right? Depending on how fast you go, it could be one step every second. It could be two steps a second, you know? So you're counting to 60. Sometimes I usually count to 40 or 45. Or you're tapping, or you're even tapping the floor, right? You're up. That was round number three. You guys are killing it. Grab your weights. This is the last round of this. All righty. Kneeling or squat to a tricep extension. Ready, set, let's go. Smile. 
because you're able to actually do this today. Yes, that's huge. There's so many people that wish they could do something like this, but either they don't have the health or the space or whatever. Nice. Ugh, squeezing, being really strong. Every time you stand up, think of it as a celebration that you stood up and contract everything tight to support you. Alrighty, that's down. Breathe. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember what we did. Okay, chair taps. How could I forget? You guys ready? Just crush this set. Ready, set, I'm with you. Let's go, guys. All right, last one. Let's just attack this. It's gonna be your strongest one yet. You are not tired. Maybe you haven't been jumping the whole time and now is when you're like, I can do it. I got this. Yes, yes. Nice job, nice job. Take a second. I want us to get to our next block for sure. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's happening. Ah, grab a sip of water. you on this one so you can see my step up it's alternating wide step ups with the arm thing <laughs> with a loop-de-loop -loop shoulder action we'll call it so if you're mirroring me your left foot is up okay you're gonna do a right knee so you go right knee you come on the floor that's the good news just hold the weight for now and then left knee this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go over my head, knee, over my head, knee. So I step, I step up, rotate, and I do a loop-de-loop -loop when I'm switching my foot, okay? You still have 15 more seconds. I want you to give a couple extra, oh, did it wrong. Extra seconds to learn it. You go across, over as you step, ugh, across. Three, two, one. Good job. I need to learn that one as well. Alrighty. If you have a towel, grab it. I talked about this in the warm up. You're just holding a hinge. Optional to use the towel for resistance, a little wider than the shoulders. You're going to learn it, so let's do it together. Ready? Set. This is it. That's the move. I'm hugging my feet in a little bit so I get my pelvis nice and stable. I don't have the hamstring flexibility to go parallel to the ground, but if you do, awesome. I'm tearing my towel apart, tearing it apart. Three, two, and one. Then you can wipe your sweat that was dripping on that hinge. All right, the cardio is either quick little step back lunges or jump lunges, okay? 30 seconds. I'm gonna jump, I'm just gonna go for it. Ready, set. Make sure your knee's over the foot. I'm gonna throw my arms all different ways. You do you. Make sure you land with the knee over the foot. So if you're just stutter stepping, which is a great modification, or just stepping back even is a great modification, your knee is still over the foot. Yes, yes. Good job, you guys. Yeah, you can go faster than me for sure. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. A little bit of breath. Round number one, we got three more. 
It's that crazy step up, loop-de-loop -loop move. I'll do it without the loop-de-loop -loop so you can kind of get it if you first iffy on that first one. You do this with me all the time. It's just changing the arms. So left foot up. Here we go. You go over the thigh. You step down, down, right foot up, knee goes wide. So this is still great. We actually do this in a lot of workouts, but because I didn't add in a lot of shoulders today, if you want, as you're stepping around, sorry, I went the wrong way, stepping around, you go sort of an in to out. Use momentum, swing, swing, woo, swing. Yep, and you're up. Goes by so fast, right? Okay, cardio, jump one, oh no, not cardio yet, what am I thinking? Hinge towel, hinge towel, ready? Set, if you're not using a towel, I'll show you. Ready, set, go, just like this. Can you press your big toes a little bit more into the floor to, to encourage your quadriceps to engage a little bit, a little bit? Nice, you guys. Yeah, this is plenty without any weight. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Three, two, all right, now's your cardio. So we gotta hurry down so we can be a little bit more peppy. Stutter lunges or step back lunges or jump lunges, ready, set. Let's do this, guys. You can go side to side if you like those. Sometimes we do those in classes. Those load a little bit more your outer hip and glute, which is awesome. If you're jumping, you're jumping. Yes, let's see it, let's see it, come on. Come on. Awesome, look at that speed, you guys. Good job, Jen's crushing it. Nice, Ahita, four, three, two, one. Breathing. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water before our next two rounds. All right, you guys ready with your chair? Five, four, three, two. You step up with a wide knee. Whew. You come step, step, wide knee. Option with the arms. Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> Option with the arms. There it is. In the middle, I go a sort of roller coaster move. So I'm swinging towards the stepping foot, under, underhand grip, if you want to call it that. Boom. A little bit of timing involved for sure. Woo! I see you guys doing it, or some variation of it, which is great. Alrighty, you're up. Hinging, sweating, hinging and sweating. Ready? Towels are optional. Set. Lift. Lift. Maybe you've been hugging your feet in the whole time. Maybe try to push your feet out on this round. Feel this outer hip and glute on this. Yes, it's lower back. If this is too strenuous on your low back, bring your arms in underneath your chest or even behind you, right? You can take your towel if you've got one behind you and do some triceps. Alrighty. Woo! Jump lunge number three or stutter lunge or step back lunge. Ready? Yes, set. Yes, you are. Let's go. Come on, guys. Yep. There's so many things in life that are way harder than this stuff. So that you guys tackle. And if you haven't tackled anything harder yet, well, this will help you when you get there. And if you haven't, lucky you. Yes. Come on, thighs. 
You got it. You're doing great, team. All the way to the end. All the way. You're up. Woo. Almost fell over on that last one. Shake it out. Shake it out. We got one more round. Weight is optional. Step is optional. Everything's optional. But you bring your mojo. Ready? Set. Let's hit it. I go under, I step up, I bring out the outer knee. I do an underhand loop to loop, I bring up the outer knee. Yes. Woo, good job. Went the wrong way. You are up. You will not see that move again at all. I'm not gonna use my towel on this last round. That's just me. You do what you can do. Ready, set, hinge, feet hip width, pressing. Remember, if your back is feeling a little strained, take your hands back behind you instead for less weight. That's optional. Soften through the neck, soften through the jaw, put any work and tension into your abdominals, into your hips and glutes. Three, two, all right guys. Last set of cardio, last set of jump lunges. Woo! All right, send in tension. How are you gonna attack this? I like, Anna's already moving. Ready, set, let's go, come on. Get after it, you guys. Can you go faster? Even if you're stepping, can you step back faster? Do something different. Do something that challenges you. Yes, 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 yes. Do something that you don't even think you can do. And then you do it. Four, three, two, you're up. Just breathe, you guys, just breathe. If you want that recovery posture, you're here. We're gonna do some standing abdominals today. Instead of core on the floor, it's core off the floor. But mainly because our heart rates are jacked up right now. Okay. You're not recovered, most likely. That's all right. Toes are slightly turned out. Shift your weight to your right foot. Soften this right knee. That's important. Soften the knee. Hands are here to the left. You're going to bring up this left knee and throw a roundhouse kick. If you don't want to throw a kick, you bring up the knee, right? You're loading this right foot so you can just do the knee or if you'd like, throw the kick. Exhale. Crazy good for obliques. Notice my top arm is going back in opposition to that kick coming forward, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, good, 3, 2, and 1, so that's side, it's side, it's not quad, hip and obliques, okay, second side, let's go, shift your weight to your left foot, toes are turned out, hands up for counterbalance, so if you're throwing a kick with me, the top of your foot is pointing forward, not up to your ceiling, not that. That's just, that's more, I don't know, cheerleader move? I don't know what that is, but this is more hip and glute. Takes a little bit more control, your knee comes up. So even if you're just doing the knee, that's great. That's the prep. And then you extend the foot off of that prep. 10, nine, eight, perfect timing. Seven, six, yes, five, nice kicks, four, Three, two, one. All righty, breathe. Wide feet. Knees are just soft. Take an inhale. Exhale. Two more like that. We'll do a little bit more than this today. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more. Inhale up. Exhale. You can stay facing forward. I'm going to show you from the side. Some modified cat and cows. My feet are still wide. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to your thighs. Round your back. Arch the back. Okay, ready? One more time. Round. Cat. Arch the back into cow. Let's stand all the way up. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands to thighs. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. One more right there. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round from here. Just pivot your toes forward if they're not. Hang forward. Fingers can either meet the mat or just put them on the crooks of your elbows and sway. So your choice. You can even hold on to your thighs, your shins, whatever you need to do. Slow your breath. Sway yourself to center, soften the knees to roll back up again. Be really careful. Take your right arm in front, we're almost done. Hooking with the left forearm, your right shoulders away from your earlobes. Take a breath there, inhale, get tall. Exhale, hug a little bit more. Nice. One breath, both arms to the sky. Inhale, up. Nice. Exhale, your left arm in front, second arm. So if your shoulder's hanging out up here by your cheek, just soften it down. Good. All right, everybody, two breaths. We are done. You guys crush that workout. Inhale, up. Exhale, everything that you don't need, out. Let it go, let it go, let it go. One more, inhale. Feel strong, feel amazing. On the way down, exhale, roll out your fingers and your wrists. And then just give yourself a hand. Woo, woo, woo. I'm watching you guys, give yourself a hand, good job. Thanks for joining.